Okay, let's talk about how to do a front axle kit. Today we've got on the rack my 96 Jeep Cherokee XJ two-door that I've been working on. It started out as a junkyard project and now it's wearing all sorts of fancy stuff. My favorite mod on this thing has been so far the re-gear. We went to 488 nitro gears from stock 307 gears. Night and day difference in available power, torque, and uh, gas mileage as well. All the fuel efficiency that goes along with re-gearing. But when we pulled the whole front end apart, we noticed that the U-joints were kind of on their way out and the axle shafts that we had up front were showing some pretty good wear. The axle seal that sits inside of here, after you know, 100 something thousand miles, that seal, even though it's rubber, it can wear down the metal on the axle shaft and that's exactly what happened. And what you're left with is a groove that oil will seep through. And as you can see, I've got a pretty good amount of oil seeping down. We did replace the seal, so I know it's not that. The axle shaft was grooved. You can feel it with your thumbnail. Um, it's time to go ahead and do it. I can't put it off any longer. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And of course, I'm not going to put in anything stock. We don't do that here at Nitro Gear. We're going to put in 4340 Chromoly uh, with 760X Dana Spicer joints. Now we do have two different kits available for the XJ, TJ, etc. Dana 30 fronts. Uh, we have one that come with uh, 760X Dana Spicer joints and 4340 Chromoly shafts. And then the other option that we have is 4340 Chromoly shafts with Excalibur U joints. So let's get started. First thing you gotta do, of course, as with everything, take the tires off. Uh, second, there's an eight millimeter drain plug bolt on the bottom of this Nitro Defender cover. Okay, so now that the oil is draining, let's go ahead and go over some of the other things that you gotta do to get this done. You will have to take your diff cover off you may have to undo your track bar to get that done on certain models. But for this Dana 30, we've got enough clearance. We're not going to have to do that. Take your diff cover off. After that, take your calipers off. Just a couple bolts back here. All right. Make sure you tie this up out of the way. Do not let it hang on the brake line. That's not good for it. After that, take your rotors off. Once those are out of the way, you have to get your unit bearing hubs off on this front Dana 30 model. We've got unit bearings. So take those out and you should have access to be able to just pop those shafts right out. It's really easy and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Okay, now on these unit bearing hubs, you got three bolts, one on top and two on the bottom. Those got to be removed and the unit hub slides out. Okay, I've taken all the bolts out. Here we go. And the axle comes with it. This part, you should probably do it in the vehicle. I just put it on a vise because it's easier for me to film this since I'm doing this one handed. But basically, take your cotter pin out, you take your castle nut off, you drop your socket, you pick back up your 35 millimeter socket and that's what you'll need for a Dana 30 axle nut. There we go. And drop your socket a third time for a good measure. Okay, the other reason I wanted to do this portion on the bench is because I wanted to show you the movement that is not normal for axle shaft U-joint. That right there is not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be completely tight. Okay, next step after you get your axle nut off, you can go ahead and take your hub, disassemble it from the shaft. Do not lose this washer. Very, very important. And here's my bare axle shaft. Yeah. This joint has definitely seen better days. Okay, so when you buy these off of nitrogear.com, they do come in kit form. However, I gotta go ahead and build these. So these are the outer stubs. 4340 Nitro Chrome Ollie. Got the inner shafts, 4340 Nitro Chromoly, uh, 760X Dana Spicer U joints.
can feel on the spline seat. So a good tip is not to press your unit bearing hubs in all the way. Make sure you get your bolts started first because you can get them stuck not lining up and that can be a problem. Okay, so now that we've got the unit bearing hub tightened back down, we can go ahead and throw our axle shaft washer, our axle nut, and the castle nut that retains it goes on top of it after we zip it down. Now remember guys, as you reassemble everything, torque all the fasteners back to the manufacturer's recommended spec. Now you can reinstall your rotors. And then your calipers. Just like the other side, when you put the unit bearing hubs in and you seat them on the splines, Make sure that you start the hardware before you actually seat it inside the knuckle. Okay, axle nuts torque to spec. Good to go. Put your rotors on, pin the guy. Okay, and the final touch, of course, refill your gear oil. Make sure you put Teflon tape on those drain plugs and fill plugs, folks. And just like that, you've upgraded to 4340 nitro chromoly axles and Dana 760XU joints. Mm.